Hey. <laughs> <laughs> welcome pretty. to the show. Uh, uh, welcome to the Kame House Party, everyone. I'm Aaron. And I'm Vince. Uh, this is the show where we try to watch every episode of Dragon Ball, and then we make jokey jokes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. horrible stereotypes. Yes, we do. Ooh, that's Ooh. our bread and butter right there. <laughs> Yeah. Slather on that misogyny Ooh. on a big old baguette. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you want to talk about prejudices? We got them. <laughs> Y'all ever notice? Uh, I lost it. I lost the thread there. Oh, I'll, I'll pick it up. Y'all ever notice how, how you know, American people walk like this? Uh-huh. 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 And then all other people I've walk like, that. I don't have traditional values. <laughs> And that's frightening to you, isn't it? We went a month-long vacation. <laughs> An American woman fainted. <laughs> <laughs> well, stay away from me. <laughs> uh, Mama, if if you please. Uh, what episode are we talking about today, Aaron? <laughs> uh, you're getting ahead of yourself, Vincent. Am I? It's Vincenzo. Okay, those are two uh, ways to say my all, name. Because <laughs> uh, first of all, all, all eyes on me, because it's my turn to do the one-minute roundup. The one-minute roundup is where one of us attempts to explain everything that has happened so far. So you don't have to go back and watch every episode to know what we're talking about, although I wish you would. Uh, it's a fun time. Uh, but this way, everyone gets caught up, and the longer we do it, the harder it gets. And we like to see each other struggle, I think. Yeah. And we know you you all love it. <laughs> it's who can have an aneurysm first. <laughs> The oh, game. Gosh. The game. <laughs> For one to two players. What the heck is wrong with you? What's the matter, pal? Yeah, the Resident Studio cat is, is saying our levels aren't good. Oh, you need some attention? Too bad. <laughs> Dragon Ball needs my attention. The world needs need- my attention. Oh, gosh. It's so hot. We have an international audience. We do have an international audience, I think. For some reason. For some reason. <laughs> People around the world. (laughs) We have diplomatic immunity. So, Hammer, you can't sue. (laughs) Uh, Let's do this Uh, one minute roundup. Okay. All right. I'm ready. Uh, I will do my best. All right. Dragon Ball is a story of a little boy named Goku who is a monkey type creature, and he goes on a magic adventure with a teenager named Bulma and a karate guy named Yansha and a shapeshifting pig named Oolong, and they go off in search of seven crystal balls that if you gather them, you get any wish. Uh, along their journey, they're also trying to get them away from a little green goblin guy named Emperor Pilaf who wanted to use him to take over the world. Uh, they stopped him because Goku can transform into a giant ape. Uh, after they succeeded in saving the world from that dude, Goku's like, you know what I want to do? I want to get fucking swole. So he goes off and trains with an old pervert named Roshi, who's all about them panties. Uh, he makes a friend of like a bald, no, bald, bald headed. His nose is bald. There's no hair on it. Uh, his karate buddy Krillin, cause, and they train for like eight months, and they can like jump and shit. Then they entered a big ass tournament, and it's it's the finals. It's Roshi. His he's got, Goku's got to fight his sensei. Hey, oh. you you got it. Yay! You got it in oh, just under the wire. I glossed over hey. the Tenkaichi tournament. A bunch. Well, hey, uh, you know, for you listeners who who felt like, hey, that that one minute roundup wasn't comprehensive enough for me to understand everything that's been going on up until now. We direct <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, you hayseeds. <laughs> Well, we direct you to just go back and listen to the old episodes. Um, Our is that what I'm saying? No. Hey, that's hey, we can't, we can't do that. Yeah. Can't do that. We respect that man too much <laughs> to, to use his to use his hours of listening pleasure with you. Ah, mm. I did it, but no. uh, but seriously, go back and listen <laughs> to Quick, those. Quick, say his name three times backwards. <laughs> <laughs> um, those episodes are a lot of fun, and you get a more sense of where we are. And you don't have to go back and watch the episodes. You can just listen to ours. Yeah. They're, we, we, they're just as we good. We usually let you know what's going on. We talk enough about them. Um, yeah. Just like we're going to talk enough about this episode. Yes. Uh, Vince, what, what's the title? What's the dubbed title? The Grand Finals, right? That's what we're on? Yes. Yes. Nailed it. <laughs> so uh, my title that I got was The Final Round. Kami Kami Ha! Why add- are your titles always so much better? I added some A's at the end of that. They were not 
in, in intrinsic in the in the written title. I think your delivery of it is exactly how they wanted. It. <laughs> um, That's how you should always read it. So I'll just start off by saying, like, I love the initial pan down and then up of uh, Jackie Chun to Roshi. <laughs> The transformation from Jackie <laughs> Chun to Roshi was so much fun for me. The narrator is like uh, going on about oh all the all the battles that have been fought, and he uses that M word that I don't like to use to mm-hmm. refer to Giren. Um, uh, and then they pan down from Jackie Chun, showing a stern-faced man ready for battle, poised, a martial arts master of focus and determination down to his feet, then back up, and we see red-rimmed, dark-ass shades, bald Roshi doing pafu-pafu on the air. Yeah! Yeah, that's his... Uh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's like, how do we let the audience know that this is Master Roshi? What's his defining trait? Per. <laughs> touch and boobs. Touch, love touch and boobs. That's all he wants, man. His kink is very specific. Hey, find your kink. <laughs> That's our. That's a slogan for our new dating app. Yep, find your kink. Find your kink. You could. Tap. That's got to be you somewhere. What? Kink dot com. Kink dot com. So there's a documentary about kink dot com. Ooh boy. All right. But it's like there's this website called kink dot com, and whatever you think goes on there, it's like quadruple it. Oh shoot! <laughs> and they show a bunch, and like. We're like, oh, we're going to watch this. And like, oh, yeah, it'll be educational. We'll be cool because we watch this. And I'm like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. And, and it wasn't like, oh, we're going to watch it. And we're going to like be pervy about it. Right. You just watched it for educational like, yeah, purposes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we read the articles of the documentary. <laughs> yeah, I read the articles. I read the show. But it's like, mm, that's not my kink. None of this is my kink. And at the very end, it's like, we had this many millions of unique visitors and we made this much pile of money. What? Just from the website? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they like they they produce all these videos. Basically, oh, they, okay. they, it's an in-house production of so like, they, videos. So for whatever kink that you have, they will make that. Yeah. If you said, oh, wow. This is what you guys want, right? Yeah, this <laughs> is exactly what we wanted. I mean, I, this is all, I don't care about the episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking about talking out, you know, strategies and things that you like and don't like uh there's a pre-match chat where the announcer asked goku what his strategy was for fighting a seasoned veteran like jackie chun and beautiful dumb dumb goku doesn't know what strategy is he's so cute and innocent and they hammer that home so often and i like it yeah he's real bush about it yeah um studio cat just dropped me a note saying that i'm not paying enough attention to her uh (laughs) <laughs> that is why I'm a little distracted. Is she going to chill? I, I hope so. She might just chill here. They go over to Roshi, mm-hmm. and they try to interview him. Uh, he's sleeping. Sleeping like an old person. Yep. They, uh, they Finally acting his goddamn <laughs> age. <laughs> they explicitly say, or the, the narrator, or the, uh, the ring announcer, explicitly says, elderly man nap. Elderly man nap? Elderly man nap. Why can't we take those? Tough. Is that a thing? It's like a siesta. I don't know. Like, like over the age of 60, like if you get AARP, you get so one it, elderly okay, man okay. nap. Say you're like in your 60s. Mm-hmm. That's an elderly man. I'm sure the, old, the older I get, I'm sure I'll keep bumping that number up. Right. Say you're in your hundreds. You know, you're finally old. Thank you, science. Would you say like, well, time for my elderly man nap. That I sounds like so. degrading. I don't know. It's just indicative of what kind of nap it is. I'm assuming an elderly man nap is mm-hmm. different from like a young man nap <laughs> in terms of like where you are, how you do it, what you're even dreaming about. Because like an elderly man nap, what do you think they're dreaming about? What do you know. think an old chasing rabbits, chasing rabbits, that kind of old man stuff? <laughs> uh, a, a young I imagine man a nap. newspaper has to be involved, whether like oh. on the chest or over the over, face. over the face, right, 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 or in this case, standing straight up and down. Old people aren't horses, Vince. Wait, although I learned that horses are old uh, people. No, they can uh, they can sit down. Oh yeah, sleep. horses can sit down. They don't always. Mm-hmm. And sometimes they sleep standing up. Man, good for them. Yeah. It's called multitasking. Let's get on it, human beings. Learn to sleep standing up like an animal. I mean, 
here in the New York office, I think a bunch of people that I see on the subway have learned how to do that quite well <laughs> and somehow make it to their stop. But I, I don't know. I, what's a young okay? What's a young man nap? Oh, a young man nap. Uh, let me set the stage. <laughs> young man just got you know all tired out from watching so much YouTube, right? Needs to take a nap. Yeah. Young man, <laughs> uh, PewDiePie G- has really worn me out. See, see, that's exactly what I'm <laughs> all talking. The screaming, about. <laughs> all the shouting. Oh, um, you know, I'm, yeah, we're coming for you, PewDiePie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're coming for you, PewDiePie. We got your number. <laughs> We do. Which is in the millions. It's in the millions. We're coming for you. All your subs. Bring it on. <laughs> it's a war out here. <laughs> but back to the young man nap. I'm I'm seeing jeans. Okay. Rolled, cuffed. No no socks, no shoes. On a couch, feet up, right? Lean back, head behind hands behind the head, eyes closed. What a cool nap. Right? That's a young man's nap. And you know what they're thinking of? Fallout 4. <laughs> or cats. Well, I would have said something similar to cats. Mm-hmm. Dogs. Yeah, dogs. Dogs and cats, very similar. They both yeah. have four feet and a tail. <laughs> Ears and eyes. Ooh, and a mouth. speaking of tail. Oh, go on. Well, let me spin you one. <laughs> oh, that's later. That's some foreshadowing. Ooh, we get foreshadowing in this episode? There's chicken people in the crowd. Chicken people? There are chicken people. Hold on, I did not see these chicken people. Yeah, there are chicken people in the crowd. This bugs me more than, say, the other anthropomorphic mutants Go on. that exist there. And I think it's because of the beak. It's the first time we've seen like a non-mammal uh, person. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm speciesist, and I'm like, only mammals can be anthropomorphic. Well, Aaron, you're Once really you showing bird prejudices territory. right yeah. now. Uh, avian human hybrids are not something Aaron wants to see. Lizards are on the fence. You're on the fence? I got your number. Oh, easy. Easy. Uh, Garen would have something to say about that, I'm sure. Like insect people are just out. No. We haven't seen any of those, thank God. No, not yet. Those monsters. Oh. Fence. I apologize to the <laughs> non-human community. Uh, my words do not reflect that of Comedy House Party in general or our podcasting cat, or our producers. Uh, and I apologize. I apologize a thousand times over. So the fight starts! Yes, the fight starts. And this is, like, really cool, because it's... It, and now we know for sure that it's Roshi, so it's Goku fighting Roshi, and it's Master versus Student, and they're going yeah. tit for tat, blow for blow, yeah. uh, in an amazing display of martial arts prowess. I'm talking, like... After image first, double, triple after image. The mm-hmm. after image, uh, speeding faster than fucking light. Right. And <laughs> tricking your opponent that you're there when you're not there. Somehow. Uh, Roshi does it. He's like, mm, two after images. Suck my butt. <laughs> <laughs> and then Goku goes, three after images. Suck my butt. <laughs> no, you're the one who's going to suck this butt, <laughs> Goku. <laughs> Only. That's how. That's my fight trash talk. Is your hey, fight man. trash talk? Hey man, uh, you know, good game, but also suck my butt. Oh, so wait, you wait till after the game to <laughs> trash talk? Hey, hey, suck my butt. It's like I'm gonna take you down. Like I did. <laughs> like no, no, no. Like you did it. <laughs> you did it. The match is over, and you lost poorly. It lasted five seconds. <laughs> Ooh, you better say your goddamn prayers as I'm spitting out blood. <laughs> Are you so wait, do you do you uh do you use the Will Smith fighting school technique of getting your ass kicked until the very last second? <laughs> just keep standing like I'm just getting started. Yeah, that's like it's so demoralizing. And that shows up in the fight because no matter what Roshi throws at Goku, including a Kamehameha wave. Mm-hmm. We see two colliding Kamehameha waves for the Ooh, first time. Something else comes up before There's energy it. attacks. Something else so something else comes up before that. So Roshi like Tries to do a ring out. Yeah. Again, classic mistake of not doing it low. Sends Goku flying. And Goku's like, while he's sailing through the air, he's like cross-legged and thinking Bugs Bunny style. Mm -hmm. He's like, "Mm, how am I going to get out of this one? I can't use the flying Nimbus because I'll get disqualified. But uh, he's not knocked out. He comes flying back in helicopter style because his tail is used as a helicopter blade. Now, Aaron, I know what you're thinking. How? <laughs> but I'll be the first to tell you, it's possible. 
Because his tail is on a ball bearing, I guess. Go on. I don't know how it's possible. That's all I had. I was trying to defend Goku, but he's just too cartoonish in this moment to defend. So, I had a stuffed animal. Okay. It was this little dog Mm -hmm. that I called Balky. Balky. Named after uh, the 80s sitcom Perfect Strangers. (laughs) One of the characters named Balky. Okay, keep going. (laughs) Keep going. And when I played with him, I would twirl his little tail around and fly him across the various houses of my home. This is so And that's how I would play. But then it was like, well, God, I'm 21. I should probably put him away. (laughs) That last part's a joke. (laughs) Wink. Wink. But it's also... uh, Ladies. Just like... (laughs) Ladies. Well, I mean, we all have examples of that. I mean, the most uh, famous one, I'd say, is... uh, Miles Tails Per Hour from the <laughs> Sega hit series Sonic the Hedgehog. Also, the Archie comics of Sonic the Hedgehog. Tails, uh, he has two tails, but he, he can rotate that makes those more things sense. and fly around. It, it makes no sense. <laughs> it makes more sense that there's two. Uh, there are two. Bl- you need a minimum two blades on a, on a helicopter. All right. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. But we're talking about Goku here. The boy wonder. The ignorant, the ignoramus. Ignorant alien. Ig- the ignorant alien. Doesn't Mar- isn't that how Mario flies in his tanuki suit? Does uh, his tail spin or does he just he's go? Got like, he's got like wings. He holds his arms out. Yeah, he holds his arms out. Here's a tail. Now you can fly by holding your arms out. The, Mario's cape makes more sense. He makes him super so he can fly. He can fly. <laughs> Is that just a Japan thing? What? Flying with tails? Probably. I think we could just default and say it's a Japan, Japan. thing. It's a Japan. You wouldn't get it, Mom and Dad. It's, it's a, a Japan, Japan thing. thing. Japan thing. Then eighty. You know how you can get like a tail to just clip on your pants? Yeah. You mean like the one that I have? <laughs> yeah, the one you're currently wearing. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> well, I just, I just think they're fun. Well, I asked, I, I'm looking at the studio cat who is uh, watching this whole thing go down, and she is not amused by the proposition that she could use her tail to fly around. She's saying that she couldn't do it. I don't think she believes in So people enough. who buy the tails, i.e. you, yes. are they just going around like, I can fly, finally. I mean, in the back of their <laughs> My mind. My Japan dreams. I mean, that's what always, I'm just like, you know, I could fly here, but I might as well walk. Nah, I don't want to make a scene. (laughs) (laughs) That's mostly why people don't fly. People can fly. People can fly without airplanes. But just nobody wants to do it to make so they don't have to make a scene. I was cheat so I was cheating on the podcast and watching uh, Dragon Ball Super again. (gasps) And there's all like baby trunks and baby goten just want to fly everywhere. Absolutely. And Bone was like no, there's people here. Stop, stop flying. <laughs> <laughs> they just like grab them by the feet. I know. That's got to be like, but I can fly. Like if you're a little kid and can fly, it's like good, goodbye parents and also right. safety. I'm emancipated. I'm going to be dead in a ditch in an hour. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand flying too high kills you. Well. Unless you're part Saiyan. Which everybody is. <laughs> at, that, <laughs> par- at this point, at it's this been point. so saturated. Yeah. There's so many Sayings that everybody's part saying. It's like and we're I'm, all American. We're all saying. <laughs> it's a saying melting pot oh, over beautiful, there. Beautiful in, in Pangea world. In Pangea world. It's also Vegeta going to Hawaii and getting asked to participate in a luau. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that yeah. happens? I need to start watching this. But no. <laughs> but <laughs> but back to the nature at hand. Then then they have a then they have the the how you say the Kamehameha wave showdown, yeah. in which they both fire Kamehameha waves. We get our first like energy attack collision, and you you get that like whose wave reigns supreme? I think it was pretty equal. They both ended up on the ground briefly. For some reason, I thought Goku won. I, don't know. I think uh, Jackie My Chun was horrible. Jackie Chun was very surprised that Goku could even match him because like. He's a he's a twelve year old boy. Twelve year old boys aren't supposed to be able to do the Kamehameha wave. Took took Roshi fifty years to learn that technique. Fifty years. So like, imagine being in like your room, mm-hmm. just going saying Kami Kami Ha, and it actually bunch. happening. And like, <laughs> well, that's I mean, you're describing my entire childhood. <laughs> dare to dream, but also like just training, like putting your hands out 
in the position. Mm-hmm. And like, they're like, if I keep doing this a bunch, it'll eventually happen. Doing that for 50 <laughs> goddamn years? <laughs> I've missed the birth of three of my children. <laughs> I've missed so much in life. Is it worth it? Roshi, please come to bed, dear. No. I saw a spark come out. Well, just for one night, will you make love to me, please, Roshi? I'm not interested in that stuff. Oh, no. This is early Roshi. Oh, 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 no. His wife cried until she gave birth. Until she died. (laughs) Until she she (laughs) cried cried to death. Cried cried herself to death. Well, Roshi, uh, Mr. Roshi. (laughs) Mr. at this point. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) She she died of, of... from grief. Grief and lack from of not, From not getting that D. She Am I right? It. Hey-oh! <laughs> I, I can't high-five you. I'm busy trading. God damn it, Roshi. <laughs> That's why he's pervy now, because right. he missed his chance. Missed all 50 years of his life. Down the drain. Down the well, fucking I mean, tubes. Eventually, the Kamehameha saves mankind. Does it? Always or does. Or does other shit? It always does. We'll find out. Um, Because right now it's just like, I can put a fire out. Slash blow up a mountain. Slash blow up a mountain. We haven't seen the practical applications (laughs) of the Kamehameha wave. It's the early stages of technology where it's, we have this. We don't know any practical application. It's like VR. Oh, this is neat. (laughs) The the end. Costs costs you 50 years of your time. (laughs) (laughs) If you're an early adapter, you 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 backed it on Kickstarter. There is... A reaction to the Kamehameha wave, like the the big bright white light, like mm-hmm. eclipses the screen and then goes away and it's just silent because everybody's so stunned at the power that they just witnessed. And then they erupt in cheering and we get to pan across the crowd. And the first image that I have, I have in my notes, is a man holding dumbbells. Again? Wait, did we go through this already? Yeah, we talked about it last one. We did? Yeah, I'm sorry. We shot our load. Oh, no. It's been like two weeks. It's fine. God. Is there anything else crowd-wise? No, that was it. Okay. I yeah. just really like that goofy <laughs> ass dude. Hey, remember Dumbbell Guy? Hey, remember Dumbbell Guy? He's still there. I like to talk about him a lot. He's, he's a friend. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good friend. Hey, Vince, you want to go work out? Yeah, sure. Like, all right, all this dumbbells for. Oh, good. Am I working out yet, dumbbell guy? <laughs> hey, it's Ryan. Uh, I wish you didn't remember my name. We've been neighbors for years. Nah, I like to call you dumbbell oh, guy. I'm losing this voice. Yeah. Oh, I'm melting. Dumbbell guy! Oh, gosh. No! Your friendship could have saved me. <laughs> a lot of people dying yeah. in our bits today. It's a lot of death that surrounds us. It's all-encompassing. Roshi? <laughs> Roshi has a good line after the Kamehameha, where, like, there's no clear winner. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, I have to think of a strategy during this commercial. Oh, then it And cuts. then we cut to commercial. Oh, man. I didn't get any of that. It was just more stun shock. I think Roshi's the only one who knows that they're in an anime. Oh, okay. So maybe that's why he don't give a fuck. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like, nah. It's like, I can be a semi-rapist. I mean, you can't, but that's his justification. It's not. I'm sorry. It's not a good justification. I gotta stop you right there. You just is said, he a full racist or a full rapist <laughs> or a semi? He, he's never successfully Can done someone anything be a to semi- anybody. What's a, okay? I think we all know what a full rapist is. Yes, unfortunately, yeah. Nope, going down. Fuck it. All right, <laughs> digging deep. Twenty fifth episode extravaganza. Everyone. <laughs> What's a semi-rapist? That's what I'm trying to figure out. You dropped the term, so I'm, I'm looking at you, Man, buddy. I think you know by now I just say shit, and then I realize it's bad Well, let, let's, work, let's workshop this. Okay, so All you, right. you don't Is, go the whole way with it. It's Yamcha in that episode with the RV, right? But that was by accident. So it's an accident? I'm saying accidental could be labeled semi. I think I misspoke. I think it's not semi-rapist. But then again, Roshi's not a rapist. Right. That's what I'm saying. He never, just, he never really gets close. He really wants he, to. You know the fucked up thing about Roshi? Go on. He asks for consent every time. Right. Wait, does he actually ask My for hand's cons- over my mouth, because I think... I don't think he ever... Nope. 
Because he touched most with Bulma. Uh, I mean. He'll ask. Mm -hmm. With an unconscious woman, he'll just do. Yeah. This is guys. (laughs) Real, real, real guys, gals, non humans. This is Mm -hmm. real talk. Real talk. I'm genuinely, I'm like, semantically, Mm -hmm. is there such a thing as a semi rapist? Vince, do we leave this in? It's my question. It's like, because like I don't. Depends on this the is not the, that we so. Come. This is not the place to discuss this. No, I don't think. No, but my mind is. I'm legitimately like, can you say that? Can you say semi rapist? Well, we and can, what are the implications? We can talk about this and just we, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, because um, I'm gonna yeah, I'm not gonna yeah. Because I think what you're actually talking about is called assault. Mm, so yeah, sexual assault. So he's in a sexual assaulter. Yes. He is an assailant a se- of Ooh. a sexual kind. Now I know what that word means. Yes. I've been watching The People vs. OJ <laughs> tangentially, and I object. <laughs> um, All right, Phoenix, right? <laughs> Objection! But, yeah, I think what you're talking about is assault. Yeah, that's assault. Because you don't brother. go all the... <laughs> you don't go to all quote the, the great Billy Madison. Yep, that's assault, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Do you double dare me? Ah. <laughs> See, Billy that's what Madison, I, and that's what I mean. Like, because somebody could double dare you, like at a bar, <laughs> you're drunk, and somebody does. Look, if it's 1994, and you and get you're double a young dare. Adam Sandler, it's okay. Because what he did to his teacher, or we're using Billy as an as an example, <laughs> that could be labeled as assault. If what was her name? Veronica Miss, Vaughn, so hot, went to touch the hiney. If she filed for, like, if she filed an assault claim. Because he touched her without her consent mm-hmm. in a sensitive area, in a sexual manner, booked for assault. Bam. Bam. Then you're on the registry of sexual offenders. This is it. Got Billy Madison into- takes a dark turn. Hey, nobody if- ever gets into this, but Billy Madison is a sexual assault tour. He's a rich man. He is. He's our enemy. He's Donald J. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can leave the Billy Madison part in. Yeah, we'll leave that in. Because of the Kamehameha wave, it makes Goku really question who Jackie is, right? And Jackie's like, oh, I have my family tree. Uh, See, Roshi's here. We're cousins. (laughs) Uh, If you had that the whole time, every time somebody asked you if you were Master Roshi, all you have to do is pull that out. It's always weird. And again, mom, dad, it's a Japanese thing. (laughs) <laughs> you want to understand, but they do it in like in like the those wushu samurai movies as well, where it's like here it's in Seven Samurai. It's like here's my pedigree. Uh-huh. I'm a samurai. Right. To me, it's weird, but I guess it's not that weird. Well, I mean, it, have you ever seen the movie A Knight's Tale? Mm, no. Uh, with uh, the guy who played the Joker, the, the dead man, one. yes, the, the dead man, the dead Joker. Um, he falsified his lineage so that he could participate in oh, the jousting. Man. And night games. Oh man, that's that's a another direction for a movie where it, the other half is just a courtroom drama. Oh, for that, I just wanted to joust, guys. Jesus, be cool. Do not bring the Lord's name into this. You have falsified your records in front of God and your countrymen, and thus you shall be put to death. Hey, remember when I played "We Will Rock You" on a mandolin? Ah. That was fun. <laughs> Two days Shade. in the stockade. Shades come down. <laughs> Just, pew. <laughs> What's well, the visor of his armor helmet? Oh, right, right. Has shades. <laughs> <laughs> the, the and they plop itself down. Has sunglasses. Thou shalt deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, horsey. There's a horse. <laughs> hey, go back to sleep, horse. Go back to sleep, horse. Sleep. Standing or sitting. Your choice. Horse's horse is choice. Horse's choice. <laughs> Hey, get out there. Hey, hey, hey. It's hey. the last dance of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, horse's choice. <laughs> oh, man. That Clydesdale is really eyeing you up, Vince. Oh, uh, what, what do I do? Uh, do I, should I go with sugar cubes or carrots? <laughs> carrots if you're classy. Cubes if you're nasty. All right. Well, what if I... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm surprised that came out of my mouth. That was, that was awesome. Uh, I interrupted our set. Our little bit, though. Oh, I mean, the bit ends with me taking that horse home. <laughs> home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Back to the stable. Mm. 
having a bit of a roll in the hay. There's a documentary about a guy fucking a horse. I forget the name of Mr. it. Mr. Hands? Is that what it is? Well, that's that video. There's a documentary about a guy not fucking a horse, getting fucked by a horse. And dying? And it's about him like having to go through hours of surgery because, <laughs> guys, a horse will destroy a human. <laughs> Yeah, there's a bone in there, <laughs> and it's huge. Guys, don't get fucked by horses. <laughs> Let's just leave the horses to do their own thing with their own kind. <laughs> We're not going to make centaurs that way, people. It's just not going to happen. And also, we don't hire dirty centaurs. We don't hire dirty centaurs. <laughs> I'm glad you get that reference. <laughs> there's this guy in film school that, like, just is like, hey, look at this fucked up documentary. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a really <laughs> fucked up documentary, man. Like, because I do. This is kind of a dark episode. It is, and that's fine. We're in a dark time. It's twenty fifth. A lot of lot of stuff. A lot of shit's gone down. A lot of shit's gone down. Um, and a lot of shit's come up. So after Jackie's like, "Look, don't ask me any more questions about who the hell I am." He pulls out another technique, and this is my favorite technique of the match ever. It's the drunken fighting style. Drunken, yeah, he goes drunken master on everything. Drunken boxing. And if, if you had any doubt in your mind that Jackie Chun was a Jackie Chan facsimile, <laughs> shut up, because I've been proven right time after time <laughs> after time after time. I want to meet the person who's like, there's no relation. There's a letter off. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Chun, Jackie Chan. That, how was that, that, that possible? There, you know there were people. One's a karate person, the other's a karate person. <laughs> I don't see. I don't see. I don't see how anybody can conflate the two. But yeah, I. And, <laughs> no, you go. Uh, I I liked the logic. Like I love the logic of drunken boxing, uh, because it's just so unpredictable. And it, and it like that's the whole point. Like you can't trace somebody's movements if they're moving so fluidly. It's and erratic. Every, every attack is also defensive and. Um, Goku has a really hard time with it because can't fight, can't fight somebody drunk if you've never been drunk before, kid. That's literally what Jackie well, Chan yeah, says. Yeah, it's like, well, oh, they, yeah, they, they're like, oh, he can't copy it, yeah, because he's never been drunk, yeah. So same thing, same thing, like a word off, yeah. <laughs> they're completely different things. Don't There's you ever say it. no. <laughs> the American and the Japanese are clearly different because there's one word off, <laughs> right. <laughs> It's like the one actual fighting st- Guys, correct me if I'm wrong. I They made a bunch of movies about it. I assume drunken style was an actual fighting style. It actually is, That yeah. can be taught and performed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is. Okay, good. I'm great. You're great. <laughs> Aaron's great. <laughs> Aaron's great. <laughs> do, 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 do. Got us chocolate Aaron's cake. Great. Do, 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 do. Hey everybody, it's Aaron here, and I just want to say I'm great. Yeah. It's nice to meet you on the airwaves. Let's uh, eat some steak. Like, yeah. Eating steak on the airwaves. Eating steak on the airwaves. Eating steak on I'm the I'm joking. <laughs> no. So Goku counters with what he calls monkey style. Monkey can. That's what it's called? Monkey yeah. can? There's a lot of cans. I don't know if can. that just means style. It could be. I think so. Sure. I think we can put those two together. <laughs> uh, somebody will correct us if we're wrong. No one's corrected us yet. Then, Aaron, we've never been wrong before. <laughs> Everything we've said is 100% fact. It's 100% true, and it's also <laughs> canon, <laughs> not Nick Cannon. Uh, we had to get that in here for the 25th episode. 25th episode! <laughs> I can't believe we, we've made it this far. It's been a lot of I fun. Can't, I can't. You can't? <laughs> We're doing this now? What? Not that I don't want to. Oh, no, we don't have to yet. Because, you know, the crazy monkey technique throws everybody for a It's loop. really, it's just him being, like, acting like a monkey. Yeah. No, he, there's not much to it. He's jumping on Roshi. Jumping using on Using his tail to trip him up. Everyone's having a, that good, good laugh. Yeah. The crowd loves it. Ooh, they love it so What an entertaining fight. <laughs> How long have they been standing there? It's a good fight. In the sense of like, there's a bunch of different techniques. Mm-hmm. So everyone, you, you've you gone to the, say you're new, to the, like, I'm going to go, I got tickets, honey, we're taking the kids, we're going to the Tenkaichi tournament. Everyone's yeah. like, holy shit, dad's taking us to the equivalent of, uh, equivalent of the Olympics. Mm-hmm. They're not really saying that. I'm just saying that for the audience so they know what to compare it to. Mm-hmm. Travel, 
hotel. They're going out. They got the foam finger. Your kids are like, that's a chicken person. I'm like, honey, don't stare. <laughs> it's like, oh, what are we going to see? We're going to see some fucking kung fu fighting. <laughs> there's a stinky man. There, there's some lady bits. There's people jumping up in the air as if they can fly. Mm-hmm. There's a non-human person like spitting gum and flying. You're like, this is an insane mm-hmm. event, and I love being a part of it. Then you get to the final match where it's like a young boy and an old man, the most unlikely of con- uh, competitors, fighting, shooting energy <laughs> beams at each other. Right. And then, like, then at the end of it all, it's like, oh, I'm drunk. Well, I'm a monkey. <laughs> like, that's an insane thing to see. Right. That is, like, that is a huge spectacle to behold. Of course the crowd is going And nuts. that's why Dog Priest makes so much oh, fucking money. Yeah. <laughs> Dog Priest is rolling in it right now. Oh, he's rolling in his own filth and also his own money. Oh, yeah. You know, he buried it in the same <laughs> spot. But, yeah. Like, could you imagine? Like, there's no equivalent that we could even get close to. Like the Olympics, maybe maybe it, the 2020 Japanese Olympics will just be a Tenkaichi tournament. Because it, it's the equivalent of like Michael Phelps, like on your mark, go. He's done with the race in like three seconds. Mm-hmm. And he's gone so fast that all the water has escaped from the pool. And yeah. the other swimmers are like flopping like, on the bottom like, like fish. fish. <laughs> yeah, That's the equivalent. Take that's, that, Ryan Yeah, that's what, what happened at the Olympics. If we're if it's some sort of supernatural, or this, or it'll be like uh, the 2020 Olympics when they finally allow robot wars to come in. Like, Wait, just, have you heard? There are two what? companies that are making my actual are going mechs. Up to my hand. They're making no. I know about this. Yeah, America, Japan. See, that's what I want. That should be like the end. That should be the closing Wait, ceremony they of legi- the 2020 Olympics. <laughs> should be that fight. Let's enjoy our time before the robot rebellion by making them fight. <laughs> they won't think about this later. <laughs> there, there's no way they'll re- recover this footage and use it as a case to turn against us. <laughs> Vince. Aaron. When I was a young man. When I was I a wanted, warthog. growing up, I wanted to be an engineer. Oh. First it was astronaut, which I think everyone goes to that stage. Mm, not me. And then I'm like, no, I I hate heights. Fuck this. <laughs> uh, but like, they're like, I want to be an engineer. And I wanted to be an engineer specifically to build giant robots. Really? Yeah, I would. And then someone at church asked me, an adult person, mm-hmm. asked me like, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? Like, oh, I want to be an engineer so I can build giant robots. And they're like, that's not what engineers do. What are you talk? Who told you that bold faced lie? So I'm just like, what? Okay. <gasps> so I stopped. So I was like, I don't want to be an engineer anymore. Cut to just these past years. That's what engineers do. That's all engineers. They build do. robots. That's all they fucking do. Specifically, they make robots for fighting, for bullshit purposes, <laughs> to kick them down to see if they'll get up again. To try and make them go upstairs. <laughs> all engineers do is build robots now. Oh, guys, I could have instead of this dumbass. <laughs> I'm hey, kidding. I Aaron, love this podcast. Aaron, um, podcast is second choice. Aaron, that's what I put on my SAT. That's what you. <laughs> What's your second choice for career? Podcasting. What is that? Wait and see. Wait. Look, you might not get it, but your kids are going to love it. <laughs> That's from Back to the Future, part one. Oh. Aaron, I feel bad. I Imagine how different my life could have been if someone would be like, yes, please pursue your STEM dream. <laughs> we probably... Probably never would have met. Never would have met. But... Have you looked into Phoenix University? You can go back to school. I've looked into Trump University. Just like uh, Larry Fitzgerald <laughs> of the Arizona Cardinals. He went back to school, got his degree. I I, I don't have an interest to be an engineer now. The American oh, just, dream truly yeah. is. <laughs> oh, God. Some child's being disciplined outside. Really? Or murdered. I mean, that's what happens when our studio's above In a toy New store. New York. Oh, yeah, God. How many? Okay. Not gonna say where. Mm-hmm. Just above a toy but you, store. But you're above a toy store. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're, we're starting to zero in. But how often do you hear like screaming from children? Is it fairly regular? At least 
uh, twice a night, like in the afternoon, like after school. Is it just out. I want it? No, it's usually just unintelligible screams <laughs> of either pain or pleasure, sadness. Pleasure. Sometimes pleasure. Sometimes they're running around screaming because they got the toy they want. Man. Or they got ice cream. Oh, yeah. There's there's an ice cream place nearby. Yeah. <laughs> Look, the address is <laughs> So if you want to I can't to keep find it me. in any luck. <laughs> Whoa. Speaking of boys and their toys. Yeah. That's not a good segue. Speaking of boys. Speaking of boys and their toys. Speaking boys of boys and their toys. Janet, and their Janet toys. Jackson. <laughs> Boys and the toys. Hey, Ooh, hey. Look at them dirty boys playing with those dirty toys. They're up on the hill getting dirty. It's time for dinner. Come in, kids. This doesn't rhyme. It's not great. Make sure to finish your plate. Ooh, gotta, gotta finish your plate. Ooh, gotta finish your plate. So boys dirty boys can play with their toys. After dinner, before bed, before bath time. But not before they do their homework. Homework, boys in their toys. Ooh, half hour of TV. <laughs> Anything you want that's PG. <laughs> TV PG or less. You guys remember when TV wasn't rated? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking old. And Let's see. see. We've got all our returning bits in to this episode, and I'm glad we did. We sang a song. <laughs> we... But we'll, we'll, look, we'll reminisce about... You know our 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 expansive twenty five episode history here. Yes, shortly. absolutely. But there's just one more thing. Mm-hmm. Roshi can't handle the monkey boy. Can't handle the monkey style. It's just like it's too much. He's too crazy. It's like, too young. I can't imagine. Yeah, it's, it's too, too fresh. <laughs> it's too. It's like it's I hip-hop. don't understand these new kung fu men <laughs> and their monkey styles. It's like hip hop to classic rock. <laughs> I don't get it. This isn't for me, so I hate it. <laughs> so, Roshi's like, all right, I gotta pull it out. Uh, I don't know what he calls it, but basically he just like, Whoa. so he starts waving his hands in the air and wax on, wax on, wax mm. on, wax off type motions. Right. His eyes glow white. Mm-hmm. The background changes to a swirling purple mass uh, if you if you haven't watched, it's a lot like the drowsy wow. Pokemon card. If you want to, if, if you want to point a reference for the background, it's swirly purple and black. Then credits, motherfucker. They, leave, they so rarely leave us on a cliffhanger. That that big of a cliffhanger. Yeah, they leave, like they usually they like, would show what it is. Yeah. But. That's I guess it. we have to find out on the next oh, episode. Oh man, I guess you guys are gonna keep listening. You gotta to this keep listening podcast to find out. Yeah. Oh no! Speaking speaking of our listeners, it's Vince. Yes, Aaron. I'm gonna reach over across the podcasting table. Ooh! <laughs> oh, my heart! No, no, for real. God damn, it's been a pleasure. It has been. It's it's in case you have in case you fucking forgot for the opening. Uh, this is or from the title. It, it this is our 25th episode. We've yeah. done 25 official Comedy House Party episodes. Yeah. Thank, again, thank you all for listening, whether this is your first one or your 25th one. Yeah. Uh, thank you for listening. We enjoy it. It's fun. Uh, we want to keep doing it for 25 more. And then I'm going to baby step myself. <laughs> and we'll just do it in 20. Well, just like, okay, do the next 25. And, and then, then the next 25. 25. And, then and then the, the next 25. 25. Until yeah, we're thank, dead. Yeah. Until death comes, which comes for us all. It will. Stops us. Man, I'll be real mad if I die. Like, just one more episode so, of... S- we're about to finish Super, Aaron. We're, it's the last episode of Super. <laughs> super, t- super Kai. Super Duper Kai. Because they just keep making them. Yep. <laughs> There are more and more I'm about to hit stop on the recording and then we'll be... uh, Aaron, no! (laughs) My artificial heart! (laughs) No, he lived to be 150 thanks to modern medicine and affordable health care! Here I go. (laughs) Damn you, President Neil Patrick Harris! (laughs) Damn you! 
Don't upload me to a computer. <laughs> I want a traditional space funeral. Oh, no. Do you know how much those things cost? We'll just They're bury very... them in the backyard underneath the piles of computer parts. <laughs> Put him next bury to a him, Google Home. Bury him next. Bury me next to my Android lover. <laughs> she chose me. She. Cho- <laughs> I know she's not dead. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> Shut her down. It's a uh, human life. I mean, an artificially human life. But <laughs> in the future, the debate over artificial intelligence still hasn't settled yet. Nope. There's still a bunch of debates. It's just. People can't come together Man, on Man, I'm really milking this death thing, God. Why won't you just die? Uh, I probably could have hit stop on the recording minutes ago. But why didn't you? Like, all right, here I go. To death, not the stop. Damn it, Aaron. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, guys, thank That's God. That's a glimpse Aaron's into dead. our thousandth episode. Yeah, it's going to be exactly like that. <laughs> canon, not Nick Cannon. It's canon, not Nick Cannon. Vince, any words for the, for the people? Um... I just want to say thank you to everybody involved. We're just you and I. The and producers. Then, um, <laughs> our drivers. Our drive. MTA. NJT. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I'm interrupting mm-hmm. your speech. No, I mean, uh, this is actually, you know, a big deal for me. Um, I really wanted to do this. And I'm really glad that I have a partner like Aaron to, to do this with. And glad that we have a group of people that want to listen to us do this and it it's something that i i don't think i'm ever going to get used to or aaron you may or may not get used to the fact that people will occasionally tweet at us as you know and say that they really like the podcast and they want to support it and and that's that's really uh touching to me and and getting to talk about something that i love is is amazing and um and yeah, it's only twenty five episodes, uh, but it means a lot that we that we've gotten this far, and I can't wait to do more. So thank you, everybody, and and just keep on listening, keep on fighting, and eventually this will be even more professional than it already is, and <laughs> and you'll be like, I was there at the beginning. I was there at the beginning. No, old Aaron died already. <laughs> uh, but- Damn, Vince, that's going to be hard to follow. I'm going to try. Uh, so, like, uh, anime was such a large part of uh, my teenage years and my post-high school years. Uh, a lot of the friends I had and still have during that time were centered around that. Uh, I got out of it, uh, as I think some people do, because of uh, the fandom itself uh, can be hard to be a part of uh, sometimes. And I think I got uh, discouraged by that. And this has been, not only am I doing a podcast, which I've been wanting to do for a long time, I'm doing it with a friend who is hilarious. um, And it's rekindling uh, something that was a part of my life. And it's like, hey, I'm enjoying anime again. Yeah. Aaron, thank you. (laughs) Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Thank everyone for, yeah, and thank y'all. Now and just I just yeah I just you know you guys know you heard it at the top, uh, I think we just need to go uh, end it here. Yeah. yeah. So keep, keep fighting. fighting for twenty five more.